Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Dos Santos! And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Lisbon, Portugal, Assassin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gets no the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Strong hook lands. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Big leg kick lands. Blocks the shot. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Throws the right hand there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Upper cut lands for him. There, DC. Great job landing that punch. And he caught the kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick land. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften the mark. Oh, straight right. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Good stick. has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, a huge block there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Huge block there. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round he has found the rhythm and found his striking range scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two well he continues to offer up the kick here but just misses with that one and they separate Bunch. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Chris looking well to the left side. Lands the right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. pinpoint strike that buckled his opponent nearly got him out of there. He's so accurate, and he's so good at finding that sweet spot, that spot that really does usually end the night of your opponents. He's a fantastic performer, and he's doing a great job tonight. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. 
While he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. The big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Just misses with the jab. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Big knee to the body. Oh, nice right hand. Starting to do some really significant. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent on very bad. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. decision it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dos Santos. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think